Hi, Hi YouTube, YouTube family. family. My name is Elisha English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome back to our channel. We have had a sunny day today and we've done some outside prep work on the camper this morning. Rolling more white paint. <laughs> Super fun, lots of white paint. I think by the end of this transformation, we're not gonna wanna see white paint for a little while, but <laughs> it's definitely freshening up the look of the camper. And so I think today we're going to add some personalization to the camper. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, the past few weeks have been amazing and I can't believe like all the work that we've already done. If I think about all the things that we thought we wouldn't have done already that we've already gotten accomplished, it's actually pretty incredible in just about two weeks worth of time. It's definitely transforming into something so beautiful. My vision is coming to life. <laughs> I think you should take a day off from peeling wallpaper and scraping putty today. <laughs> Gladly. Yes, everyone comment day off for Phil scraping. <laughs> yeah, hit what, the like button. <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> We're gonna give Phil a break today from doing some of the labored scraping that he's been doing. Give his fingers a rest. And we're going to actually add some personalization to the outside of the camper. As you just saw in these clips, in just two weeks, our camper has transformed from 1986 to hopefully 2020. Although we still have some more work to do on the outside, I have prepped this full back corner because I can't wait any longer to add something to the outside of this camper. Me either. So I'm we're gonna, excited to see what it's going to yeah, look like. We are going to do another little bit of a bounce around while we wait for things to dry and wait for projects to be able to be done depending on the weather we're kind of bouncing all over the all over the place but I think that adding this little bit of extra today is going to give us a little bit of excitement about the outside of the camper at least on one corner anyway it's gonna pop it's gonna pop so I have already designed the design that we're going to put on the outside so let's get creating I really want to have a customized design on the side of the camper and so I'm glad that using my Silhouette Cameo 4 at home I can create my very own design and create a stencil that I can use for one time use on the side of the camper. And so what I'm doing is I'm using each of our initials and a compass like shape to be able to make the design and then I'll be able to piece it all together. I'm printing it out on contact paper and all I have to do is send it to cut. Because my stencil design is twice as big as I'm able to print on my Cameo, I've created two 12 inch wide stencils that are going to create one larger image. And I want to be able to stencil my stencil with black paint and so I'm going to remove all of the pieces of vinyl that are going to be where the black paint is going to go. That way I have a stencil. Now what I'm going to do 
to do is use another piece of contact paper and I'm going to remove the plastic backing. So curly because it was on a roll. <laughs> All right. This is a very ambitious design to put on the side of a rib camper, but we're gonna see how it works. Worst case scenario, we paint over it and we try again. Right? I'm not giving up on my design idea. <laughs> Then I'm going to very carefully lay it over top of my design, covering it as much as I can. Push it down nice and flat. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'll do the rest of the design once this is all on. So I'm going to do this in a couple of parts. Ready to go outside? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's extremely windy, so Alicia is hey. trying to get this on <laughs> in the wind. My hands are freezing. <laughs> trying to make sure that we don't lose any of the pieces that we need. Okay, I think half my hair is attached to this also. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on. Perfectly. Okay. Get that in a second. I'm going to put on one side and then line up the other side. I'm nervous. <laughs> Don't be, you got this. Uh, cooperate. Mother Nature. <laughs> Go away, wind. Go away, wind. Removing the contact paper so that I can put on the second stencil side by side, creating my full design. Hold so it's sticking real good. Whew. It's brisk. Baby. My hands are bright red. They're so cold. <laughs> I can't do this with gloves on. process but not usually quite so difficult <laughs> because there's the ridges before I can start stenciling. And maybe warm up my hands for a second because yeah. even my lips don't want to know what I'm talking. These are very deep ridges and what will happen is, is it will look a little bit distorted if I can't get that flat. And so I'm doing a different technique than I normally do when I do my signs because normally if I do a shiplap sign or something, I will just touch it up with the paintbrush underneath. But this is a little bit different because from the ground level, you will be able to see up underneath. And so ideally, we don't want that. So I'm using the razor blade and I'm cutting the ledges so that they lay flat. That way I can get a real crisp stencil over all of that. And I think this should work. Should. Should. <laughs> is the key word. Yeah. When you try a new technique, sometimes you just don't know. But I think that will be a lot better than if I left that. So those are my biggest ridges. I did the same technique down here to those areas. 
And even on a little bit of this outer part here, that way it will lay flat in those spots. Now I'm not going to use a spray paint, although you may think that that would be a good idea. Never use a spray paint when you're stenciling because the power of the paint as it gets blasted from the spray paint can, all it does is go and shoot underneath the let these edges that you want to be sealed down. So I'm going to do super light application over the whole thing, wait for it to dry, and then come back and do another one. Pretty good. Fix that one spot at the top there, and then I think I'll get sponging. Okay, wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> I got a makeup sponge, some exterior black paint. It's a little thicker than paint I normally use since I usually stencil with interior paint, so I'm gonna go very light here. Can't even see where the stencil goes, all right. Hey, so far so good. <laughs> Glad you're so optimistic about that. It's going to look blotchy on the first coat because I'm going very lightly. are so cold. I need to oh, I have a pin ready. I'm going to pull this off and then I'm going to finish my design which has to go around this now that I have this all lined up. So fingers crossed it doesn't pull the paint off the camper and that we didn't have too much bleeding underneath. Okay. So far so good. insisted he was the bottom of the compass. <laughs> Which means Chase wanted to be the top. I guess we'll put you on the compass. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just kidding. Could you imagine you put Gunner? Oh, <laughs> like, no, me. I gotta step back and look. Gorgeous. Whoa, that looks awesome. A few small touch up spots, but not bad for a windy cold day. Good job. <laughs> I love it. I like the 
placement of it. Oh, it's perfect. And best of all, it's not like this. <laughs> like, no, it's not. When it's... you put something on and it's clear, it's kind of hard to see where it's going to go. So I'm really thrilled with that. I think that looks great. So I still have uh, a few little touch-up spots to do here where the black one underneath where I attempted that little slice cut, but all of that can be touched up with white paint. And I have these little white dashes here and I seem to be missing one right here, which is no <laughs> big deal. This meant that one of the things in the stencil didn't cut out and I'll be able to touch that up. But any little over marks when it's warmer tomorrow, hopefully, and my hands aren't so cold, I can go really steady with a thin paintbrush with the white exterior paint and make sure that this is like crisp. But I think it looks really good. I'm happy about it. So I do have other plans for the tail. Someone was teaching me in the comments section yesterday about how I was supposed to call each side of the camper. Okay. Like these terms that we need to know. So is this street side? Okay. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and double check. But the rear end of the camper is going to get uh, some decals on the back of that, stenciled areas, and then I think still some on the other side. And then I have an idea for this same image somewhere inside as part of our decor. So yeah, I'm excited. YouTube family, what do you think? What do you think? Let us know in the comments section what you think. So Chase, Elisha, Dayton, Philip. I think it looks pretty great. A nice little family emblem on the side. It's gorgeous. Wow, hon. I can't believe how well that turned out. I'm so excited. I knew on my program when I designed it all up that it was going to represent the things that we wanted it to represent, like traveling and sort of a family logo. Philip actually has a tattoo that him and his brother got that's on his hand or arm, forearm here, that has home and his mom and dad's initials and his brother's initials, and it's a centered of a compass. And so... We thought that it would be neat for our boys. My face is so cold, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm blowing warm air into my... And so I thought it would be interesting for us to be able to design our own that we could have for our own camper that had all of our initials on it. And so we let the boys help us design it all up and pick where they wanted their initial to be and where they wanted it on the camper and everything. So we did a little bit of a team input and designed it all up. And I think it turned out perfectly. It's amazing we love it it's beautiful so i do have some other ideas for where things are going to go on the exterior of the camper but i was just itching to get something on there i think it looks really good and i think it looks nice with the crisp clean lines it's not too wordy because i know that some of the words that are going to be more meaningful that we want people to actually be able to remember and look up like our youtube link and stuff we are going to put on the back side of the camper and so i wanted it still to be a super clean look and go with the style that we're going to do inside the camper. So I think we achieved that with that one. So let us know in the comment section what you think about that and how you like that logo. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Give us a like. Give us a like on that one. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button if you like that logo. Yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. We are just absolutely overwhelmed with all of the comments and emails and everything you guys keep sending us. We keep telling you guys, but it's just so many amazing comments and just so many new subscribers on our channel and so many people sharing our videos and liking and commenting and sharing their stories about campers that they are now planning to redo yeah. with our inspiration or have already done in the past, sending us photos. Um, if you have things that you want to send to us, you can direct message on Instagram. You can send an email. Uh, all of the information for our socials are in the description box down below. So go head over and send us whatever you want. Whatever you want to send us. Comments, messages, inspiration photos. We read all of them. Yeah. After we warm up, we'll read all of them. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we are going to go in and have some hot chocolate, probably with mini marshmallows because yeah. there's no other way to have hot chocolate, <laughs> and warm up and hope that tomorrow is a little bit warmer. Today was so cold although it was really sunny today so yeah. it didn't really make sense for what it looked like outside it's still a beautiful day yeah it looks really great so we are we doing a live tonight yeah i think we're gonna do a we live. are going live tonight at 9 p.m eastern standard time i don't know what all the time zone changes are so you have to look up in your area what time it will be at 9 p.m eastern standard time for you should should i shave the beard off for the live on the live or for the live? <laughs> <laughs> Not on the live, but for the live. Okay. Maybe. We'll have to see. But I do have an idea of something I want to show you guys that I want to do for the inside of the camper. I'm going to show you that during our live. We'll probably do a little create with me while we are doing the live today. I have sort of an idea that I want to do. And we're going to see if it works. So we're going to do that today on our live. So if you want to join us, bring any questions that you have for us. 
um, make a warm tea or coffee or yeah. hot chocolate. Before bed We're, or when you're waking up. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, we will see you guys tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you missed any of the other videos in our playlist, go back, check them out. They're on our channel. And don't forget, if you're not already part of our YouTube family, that you hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? What are for? you waiting for? We have over 100,000 YouTube family members. So join our family and join our positive community that we have created here on our platform. Yep. We love you guys, even though we have freezing cold hands. And we will see you tonight on our live and tomorrow on our next video. Bye. Bye.